What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Blake's Take. And Philadelphia finally got their man. After a long and agonizing process, Daryl Morey was finally able to get James Harden and after missing out on him in Houston. Harden's tenure with the Nets was short-lived and never ever really got to take off due to a combination of factors such as injuries and a lack of chemistry. He came to Brooklyn in hopes of a fresh start, but ultimately left worse off than when he came in. But now, he has been given yet one more chance at a new beginning, this time with the 76ers. Harden has been soaking up every bit of being in Philly thus far and has been fabulous with the, his new team in his debut. After going for 27 points, 8 rebounds, and 12 assists in a win over the Minnesota Timberwolves on Friday, he made history by putting up 29 points, 10 rebounds, 16 assists, and 5 steals as he helped the 76ers pull away from the Knicks in their Sunday matchup. These impressive showings have put Harden in a category of his own, becoming the first player in NBA history to put up at least 25 points and 10 assists in each of his first two games with a new team. Not to mention, he is already edging his name in the Sixers franchise history books as he is the first player in Sixers franchise history to have at least 25 points, 10 rebounds, 15 assists, and 5 steals in a game. Many of Harden's assists were to his partner in crime, Joel Embiid, who scored a casual 37 points himself in the Sunday matchup. Embiid is finally getting the star partner he always wanted, but never had the luxury of having until now. Both Harden and Embiid have proven themselves to be fully capable of putting teams on their back and willing them to victory. So when you put the two of the most dominant isolation players in the game on the same team, it makes things easier for both of them and much harder for other teams who now have two elite scoring threats to worry about instead of one. This will be especially evident in the pick and roll as options will be endless for this Sixers offense. Another thing to point out is that both of these players have consistently found a way to get to the free throw line throughout their careers and has been a huge elevator in their game. In the two games they have played together thus far, they have already combined for 59 free throws. They really find a way to get those free shots. And Beads had the most shots in, by any player this season with 20, 29 uh, against the Knicks. So that, that just speaks volumes of their game. But back to my earlier point of how much life will be easier for both of them and the Sixers with the addition of Harden, as they will not have to constantly need Embiid to be on the floor to keep them in games. While Embiid rests, Harden can just do what he has done time and time again throughout his career, create opportunities for himself and his teammates. This will fill the long-lasting void that has been placed on the 76ers organization. Harden may just finally be the missing piece that Philadelphia has been looking for to complete their championship puzzle. Coming out of the All-Star break, the Sixers have new life and a fresh hope for the future of this season and beyond. I look forward to seeing how Harden and Embiid continue to develop chemistry and where they go from here because this is sure going to be a dominant, dynamic duo. I can't wait to see it. Hope you all enjoyed that. You can catch more 76ers action as well as coverage across all the NBA games here on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and or YouTube. I hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and like to stay up to date, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day.